Howdy there folks, Robert here, and I'm sort of doing this on the fly to show a solution to a problem that I've had for a while. If you're like me and you've got an iPhone and an iPad, you know, maybe I'm the only one that has to deal with this, but I always had a problem with my photos and videos syncing from my iPad to my iPhone. Now, my iPad it's got tons of storage, like 250 gigs, so I can leave videos on there all the time, not a problem. But those videos that I go from the iPad, they get synced to the iPhone, which only has about 16 gigs of storage. Yeah, 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 I know. But in any case, um, what I would run into a problem with is that stuff on the iPad would get transferred to the iPhone and I would lose storage real quick. Well, I found a, a quick little solution that's probably a lot of you know that you can stop that from happening and also stop like if you delete photos and videos from your iPhone or your device that has less storage it, they'll get deleted from your iPad I mean that's what I ran into problems with um, stuff that I would delete off there I would lose it on the iPad and it would really make me sad but in any case um, what you want to do is you want to go into settings and then you want to scroll down to where you have your photos and camera. And then you want to make sure that your upload to my photo stream is toggled off on both devices. That's key. Upload to my photo stream is toggled off. And then what you're able to do is you're able to um, stop the syncing from your um, iPhone and iPad and you're able to have them basically be separate on each device. So if you delete from one, it won't delete on the other and vice versa. Now you can still transfer from your devices and of course you do that via AirDrop. And um, let's say that you were to, let's go back to this. Oh, and let's do our thumbnail for the YouTube thing we're doing. Um, stop syncing. If you were to want to sync this to your iPhone, all you'd have to do is just go into your AirDrop, and then of course it show it'll show up depending upon. You got to be on the a Wi-Fi network. You got to both devices have to be on that to work. But in any case, you'd be able to AirDrop your photos and videos from one device to the other. So to sum up. To keep your photos and videos from syncing from your iPad and your iPhone, um, go to your settings, scroll down to where you see photos and camera, and then make sure that your upload to my photo stream is toggled off. Hope this helps. Later.